is if you keep talking while my stories are on, I'm gonna toss you out. Cause that's what I'm allowed to do. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stars you forgot were on That's So Raven. This carpet is hypoallergenic cause I didn't bring my rash ointment. The cards tell me that you are very lonely. Come on kid, you got one stinking word. For this list, we'll be looking at celebrities that guest starred on the Disney Channel show. Since nobody has forgotten them, we won't be including those who had significant recurring roles, so Adrian Bailon's stint as Alana isn't included. Which of these guest stars is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Sammy Hanratty. Mrs. Valentine? Will there be bears in the woods? When a thunderstorm threatened to ruin the Bayside Sunshine Girls camping trip, Raven let them stay at her house in an effort to help Sydney develop new friendships. Sammy Hanratty played Taylor, a member of the group who was initially extremely quirky and shy. I hope you have antibacterial soap. I'm a germ magnet. As the girls all began mocking Raven, Hanratty's character really opened up and leaned into the chaos that ensued. Let's poke with a stick! But she was also the first one who cut Sydney and Raven some slack in the end, which prompted the other girls to follow her lead. I will. How about you guys? Over the years, Han Raddy has racked up some other pretty impressive credits, such as Salem, Chosen, Shameless, The Vampire Diaries, and Timeline, just to name a few. No, no, we have to stay. Number nine, Jessica Zor. Jordash Hiltopper. In the big buzz, Raven was intent on winning the title of Best Rest at the Bayside's Best Awards. She was, to put it mildly, sick of being the runner up year after year due to last minute foils. Just when she seemed like a shoe in Jordash Hilltopper, played by none other than Jessica Zor, strutted in. There she is! That girl can dress. As the daughter of a designer, she knew fashion. Ultimately, it's the counselor, portrayed by the inimitable Susan Lucci, who snagged the top prize. Granted, Zor's part was minor, but despite her lack of dialogue, she brought Jordash to life. The star, widely known as Vanessa Abrams from Gossip Girl, boasts an impressive resume with roles on The Orville, Shameless, and Twin Peaks The Return, amongst others. She means you like what you like, and none of the rest of it matters, okay? Number eight, Yvette Nicole Brown. I don't care who you are, no one gets near pressure unless your name is on the list. I'll see you at dinner, Grandma. Yvette Nicole Brown is known for her priceless character portrayals. So, why do you hate me and Jesus? For instance, she flawlessly brought Shirley Bennett on Community and Helen on Drake and Josh to life. Let me uh, ask you something. Do you have a job? No. Are you uh, all right in the head? And she brought the humor to That's So Raven as Monica, a no-nonsense dance studio receptionist. Hey, 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 hey! Didn't I tell you two to keep it down? Her days got hectic as superstar pressure held auditions for his music video. After she told Raven and Chelsea that they couldn't just lurk there, the girls convinced Corey to take a dance class that ended up being far from what he expected. It goes without saying that things didn't go as planned. As for Monica, she just wanted to get through her shift in peace, which would have been easier without everyone crowding her desk and obsessing over pressure. Rock, no, don't read the letter. Don't read the, mm. Number seven, Candace Cameron Bure. My name is Raven. <laughs> I'm Courtney. Oh, are you new here? Yeah, it's my first day. Beret, widely recognized for her work as DJ on Full House and Fuller House, and Aurora in Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries, stepped into history teacher Courtney Dearborn's shoes in this episode. Good morning, class. Your old teacher, Mr. Brestrom, won the lottery and moved to Maui. I'm Courtney Dearborn, your new teacher. Her modern teaching style acted as a breath of fresh air for the students, much to the principal's dismay. Well, you can have a few friends over, have a little study party. But when she encouraged the class to have a study party in preparation for their upcoming test, Raven took her advice a bit too literally. What followed was the tale of a postponed test, a fake exterminator, a job on the line, and a spider who saved the day. 
In other words, a pretty standard day for Raven and the gang. I just wanted to apologize for that whole spider jumping through the window fiasco. Yeah, let's not relive it. Number six, Brenda Song. Lawler's taking over first period and he's starting a whole Lucidian chart. <laughs> it's no secret that Brenda Song has flawlessly brought a number of characters to life, including London Tipton on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Madison Maxwell in Dollface, JJ in Station 19, and Anne in Amphibia. I don't care if they've broken the law. You can't treat people like this! Well, you can add Amber on That's So Raven to that list. Her character appeared briefly in A Dog by Any Other Name and was largely responsible for the episode's events. Hey guys! Oh, what's up, Amber? Hey, um, don't forget about my party this weekend. After she invited Raven and Chelsea to her party and made a snarky comment about their lack of dates, the girls embarked on a mission to find boyfriends. Ultimately, they realized that there were more important things in life and decided to go to Amber's together. We are going to Amber's party together. We just wish we could have seen the party. Number 5. Sydney Park Okay, who would like to learn how to make their own clothes? There's a new invention, lady. It's called a store. During the fourth season of That's So Raven, we were introduced to Sydney, a little girl from difficult circumstances. Despite her tough and sarcastic exterior, she formed a special bond with Raven, who became a role model for her. There's not a fan of the show who didn't develop a soft spot for Sydney throughout her three episode arc on the show. And no one ever better try to come between my love and sister and me. But what most of us didn't realize is that the actress behind the role was none other than Sydney Park. Hey guys, check it out. <laughs> Looks like Raven's fighting the dead, and the dead. She grew up to impress us with parts on shows like Santa Clarita Diet, Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionists, The Walking Dead, and the 2021 film Moxie. Who's Moxie? Now if only she'd make an appearance on Raven's Home. Number 4. Tiffany Haddish And finally, one of the most exciting features of the biodome, the carnivorous plants. Now these babies can actually eat insects. Most of us remember this episode, where our favorite psychic grew jealous of Chelsea's best friend from Camp Jennifer. The two girls realized that they didn't need to compete for Chelsea's friendship, but not before they got trapped inside the Science Museum's Biodome exhibit. What many of us missed, however, is that Tiffany Haddish appeared as the Biodome's tour guide. She delivered a great speech and couldn't leave fast enough when her shift ended. It's the balance of nature and the circle of life. In the end of my shift, the biodome will be closing in five minutes. The character actually provided some pretty crucial information about the exhibit's carnivorous plants. It's just too bad Raven missed it all. Of course, Haddish has showcased her comedic chops time and time again with stellar performances in Girls Trip, Tuca and Birdie, and Bad Trip, among many others. I know! I'm so nasty. I bring a lot of zest to my environment. Number 3. Niecy Nash if my Tom Cassandra can't see it, it's not happening! Call me now! Nash is a seasoned actress who has appeared in numerous films and television projects throughout her career. Well, ladies, you have nothing to be afraid of so long as I'm around. Th though technically I'm not a police officer. I mean, I, as you can see, I'm not licensed to carry a sidearm. Namely, she's graced our screens on Scream Queens, When They See Us, Claws, and Never Have I Ever. While the star is best known for her work on Reno 911, she also delivered a great performance on That's So Raven. Nash brought television psychic Madame Cassandra, real name Shirley, to life. Get to the point, Shirley. I need a raise. She quit the show after being denied a raise, thus paving the way for Raven to take over. After watching this episode, we feel comfortable saying that nobody could have embodied Madame Cassandra quite like Niecy Nash. Ooh, you hear that? She's a bad coconut! Excuse me while I shake the evil Ooh. out of her! Number 2. Paula Abdul Hi and welcome to Undercover Superstar, the show where we go to your school undercover to find America's next superstar. This episode cleverly played into Paula Abdul's iconic career as a dancer and singer, as well as into her job as an American an idol judge at the time. Now give it up for the king of the keys, Cory Baxter. In this episode, the star portrayed the host of a similar fictional competition, Undercover Superstar. Eager to be on the show, everyone at Raven School mistakenly tried to amaze a janitor they believed was a secret talent scout. True to form, however, Raven's vision only told part of the story. 
While he was actually a member of the health department, the real undercover scout was, you guessed it, Paula Abdul's character. Are there any kids around here who could sing or dance or want to be a superstar? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not singing for no more janitors. This episode was full of entertaining musical numbers, but sadly, she didn't get to witness any of them. Guess I'll have better luck at Jefferson. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Skylar Samuels. She played a young mean girl named Chrissy Collins. Well then, welcome to the real world, or as I call it, my world. <laughs> Jack Hay Harry. She played Dava, the director of Better Days. Let's make it a comedy moment. Now, a first kiss is usually kind of awkward, so when Justin leans in to kiss you, you bang noses, okay? Kathy Lee Gifford. She played Chelsea's boss, Claire. Who's mommy's special little baby? Snowflake is snowflake is. Oh. Who let you in here? Brandon Michael Smith. He played Razor, a member of the X Squad. Word down at the skateboard shop is you bought the Exterminator 3000. Yeah, hey, you wanna come in and see it? Yeah. yeah! Haley Duff. She played Katina, a girl who befriends Eddie after he develops psychic powers. Is there a problem? Uh, no, I just uh, got a lot on my mind. It's never happened to me before. Okay, so you're saying you can't come up with anything. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Cindy Lauper. Alrighty, class, the assignment was to create an art project with a message. I can't wait to see how you've done. The icon, Cindy Lauper herself, gave us all a gift when she played quirky art teacher Miss Petuto in a season three episode of That's So Raven. Oh, Chelsea. I love this. Thank you. You're a true artist. Oh. Her character was a free spirit who encouraged Chelsea to create an art piece to submit in the upcoming student art show. Shenanigans ensued after Raven mistakenly destroyed Chelsea's sculpture of her as a bird and had to step in as the piece herself. But all's well that ends well. I know you'll love this piece. It was done by one of my most talented students, Chelsea Daniels. We would have loved to see more of Miss Petuto on the show because we have a feeling her backstory would have been nothing short of epic. We've been down this road, author. We're over. Let's just keep it professional. Girls just want to see Cindy Lauper bring it with everything she does, and she has yet to disappoint. And girls, they wanna have fun. Oh, girls just wanna have fun. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.